Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Friday, the 5th of April. So, a quarter of the way through the year, and uh, what's it got in store for today then? Well, non farm payrolls is the answer. Um, both Canadian data and the US data both uh, due out this afternoon at 1 30 UK time. So, technically, what we've got in store then, uh, euro dollar, well, it's consolidating where it is inside bar yesterday, not surprising after the sort of uh, previous bar there. Sell off bar though, um, it, have we got continuation of this? Well, it's a hard one. I think today could be quite quiet, and we've seen that a lot of late. We saw sell off yesterday, but consolidation beforehand really hand railed that uh, four hourly 50. Could have could have pitched through it, never really sold off as well as it could have, or may have even. So where to this morning, well, it's, as I say, it's very range bound, you can see from the upside there, it's uh, it's in a bit of a wedge looking pattern maybe, and uh, I would be wary of doing too much to it, maybe, uh, my preference um, then, and what may get me into a trade is a break to the downside there. Um, back towards yesterday's lows S1 area. Now that would have to happen relatively quickly if it uh, stalls. We've seen quite a lot of lately where it just uh, uh, hold, gets into holding patterns like we saw there go on Wednesday, um, Tuesday even. <laughs> Whatever day it was, uh, it seems such a long time ago. It was Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, it was Friday today. That's okay. Um, so I, I don't really want to be sitting in a holding pattern just before non-farm payrolls with no profit and no nothing really happening. So if this gets a wiggle on this morning, I will look at it. And as I said, as simple as uh, the bigger, much bigger trend is still to the downside. It's consolidating here. We've got room within the pattern without... Uh, asking for too much for it to do this so that's what i'm looking for this morning if it doesn't do it i won't be in it as simple as that i think upside's quite limited at the moment it may as i said come back to that 50 uh, that we saw earlier on the four hourly 50 but it's already been tested this morning again and at the moment it's pulled back off of it a break of that well well I'll just stand alone, leave it alone wait for non-farms okay the pound Daily wise, well, I was looking at this and sort of getting a bit of a sort of a, a, an eye in on it, trying to at least. Um, it's got lower highs. It's it ha it well again. It's a bit of a sort of a wedge uh, pattern that's formed on the dailies here. It's a little bit more difficult. I mean, with the news flows and backwards and forwards, looks and look at like maybe a di a some something coming out of something and then it's not. And um, I think we're going to see a very watered down. Uh, offering put for the Brexit maybe later today or next week and that in itself or there's going to be a complete fallout <laughs> and nothing's going to come out of it because uh, of the political um, careers getting in way of the uh, whatever's uh, should have been done anyway but looking at it again from the 60 minute point of view what might get me in it well if it starts selling off Looking primarily for, I say primarily for the uh, yesterday's lows there, but there is the S1 lower, uh, much lower down. So uh, that may draw me into a trade, um, so draw me into get me trading on the shorter side um, of the pound. It uh, got a bit overbought earlier on this morning. It uh, well, target normally would be down towards yes, uh, yesterday's lows and the S1 from that basis. So it, uh, as I say, if it starts breaking down. I'd rather be on that side of this market, I think, at the moment, or not at all. Simple as that. Dolly Yen. Dolly Yen finally broke that trend line. I'm going to take it off now, <laughs> but uh, finally broke that trend line on the dailies there. Um, it's a funny old day, though, and you look at the horizontal resistance points, and that's all it's really done. It's run into those prior bodies, not even got up to the uh, the uh, top of the candlesticks there, um, or the wicks. Um, rolling over a little bit at the moment, but uh, the, the morning is early. It has got a daily pivot below, which may be a bit of a draw. Um, it spent most of yesterday uh, pretty much doing nothing until late afternoon and eventually uh, softened up a little bit there, which was quite all right because the other currency strengthened up a little bit uh, about two o'clock onwards. So um, it, it is certainly an uncertainty currency. 
Where to this morning, as I said, well, my preference really is a continuum. So I said earlier in the week, and my preference is further upside. Um, so the, the sensible thing would be really to sit out of this and wait and see if it gets back to that pivot reaction to it if he was looking to trade it. But the pippage on it is pretty slim. Aussie dollar, well, the Aussie's done a lot of nothing really. It's uh, maybe coming up to break out, and it, it certainly looks like it... Uh, it could do at this rate, but uh, breakout to where is the question? And I mean, there's pl plenty of resistance levels just not far for, uh, further on there. The uh, weekly R1s just above in terms of pivot wise. Prior highs just up there. May pitch up to that sort of area. You're talking about six, 14 pips or something. If it does that into resistance, is it really worth it? Probably not. Non farms today, leave it alone. There you go. Summarized Canadian dollar. Canadian dollar, um, not doing too much either, softened up yesterday as well, um, not the biggest of days and it's sitting there in, in quite a tight chop at the moment, I'm just coming down the time frames as I speak, um, maybe, if you, I mean it still hasn't hit the, its weekly pivot, maybe if it was to break up uh, and start pushing up that well, it could fly through that pivot later on with non-farms because it's got the, their own non-farms and the US non-farms could be a double whammy, could be uh, completely opposite. So it's like throwing a coin. Best thing is leave it alone. So that leaves us very little this morning. Maybe the euro, maybe the pound there on the uh, majors. There may be a few cross pairs that may be sh shaping up. I'm going to look at those with the roomies um, later on. Um, other than that, I wish you a, a very good non-farms later. How would I trade it? Well, got to see what the pattern comes out and how how different it is um, it, to expectation. So uh, the unemployment rate itself is very low at the moment in the US at 3.8, but there is the, there are jitters, of course. Of course, non-farm uh, employment is a is a lagging indicator. So um, if that starts showing weakness particularly in the average hourly earnings there which is what we're really looking at focusing on at the moment if that starts dropping down it's expected to come in at 0.3 if it comes in less than that um, that will really just sort of a, a, give, give the nod that the things are slowing down I think people know the things are slowing down but it will just show it's, it's slowing down and then consumers haven't got anything to spend or less to spend then it slows down some more so simple really if it's uh, if it's above expectations, well, it, it may see the dollar gain a bit of strength and f have a bit of follow through there, a bit of strength. Okay, uh, I wish you a great day. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.